Um, as Rich Turrell at NASA said, if this simulates this simulation, which he believes it is, who the hell created it? And and this brings us to to that question I posed earlier: Why can't we see that which is manipulating us in a non-human form, as I say it is? Well, because we can only see this tiny narrow band of frequency called visible light and the force that is manipulating human society controlling the simulation actually created the simulation to enslave us by enslaving our perception it's what the simulation is enslavement of perception is operating outside the band of frequency that we can see and if we call this reality the third dimension, keep it simple, and a higher or another level of frequency high enough for us not to be able to see it, the, um, the fourth dimension is what spiritual people call the astral dimension or the astral plane. When people talk about astral traveling, it's actually traveling with the mind because the fourth dimension, the astral dimension, is the dimension of mind. And it's from there that this reality is manipulated, controlled, and orchestrated from. And if you look at, you know, you talk to people about other dimensions, even if they accept that that's real, they perceive other dimensions to be way out there. Oh my God, they're way out there, these other dimensions. Well, some of them are. Some of them in frequency terms are so far from the frequency band that we're operating in, it's just ridiculous how, how far away they are. But other dimensions like this astral dimension, the lower level of it, the lower frequency level of it, actually is fusing into this. It bleeds into this reality. And if you look at what, how they describe the lower levels of the astral plane, the fourth dimension, what they call the lower astral, and you, you, you talk to people in, in different ancient cultures, you talk to people in the spiritual movements of today, they'll say that's the place where the demons are. That's the place.